Phil, how are you today? We're so excited to have you uh, choosing our, our picks for this uh, New York edition. So for the people who don't know you, I just wanted a few words about you. Um, so your name, your full name is Phil, Philip Collins, um, uh, Philip Michael Collins, sorry. You were born in Tennessee. Uh, you're based currently in New York and um, you love to collect. You love to collect and support artists of color from my understanding. And right. you also love discovering artists through uh, and via Instagram and connecting with them. And you made some great discovery over the past and we're super excited for you to share your favorites of this uh, New York edition um, online powered by Christie's and also through Artsy. But uh, can you walk us through your, your favorite picks and uh, tell us why you like those, uh, those paintings? Absolutely, and thank you for having me. Um, I've been a fan of uh, 154 for quite some time. Um, I am a huge fan of art fairs for, for so many reasons, but um, I love uh, art fairs who um, share my aesthetic and uh, there's so many wonderful pieces um, in the show that I am so excited about and so energized about, not only from some artists that I already know and have collected, but also from artists um, who I, artists and galleries who I have not um, seen before. So anytime I'm able to, to hop on Instagram and follow some new artists and galleries, I'm always excited. And this show is a perfect example of that. So thank you so much for, for having me. I'm gonna share my screen now and walk everyone through my top five picks. Amazing. Awesome. So the first one um, is uh, from Moose uh, Lamberat um, from the uh, Loft Art Gallery. Um, when I saw this initially, um, I laughed out loud in the most, like the best possible way. Um, anytime there's an intersection of, of fashion and politics and pop culture, um, I'm always going to be in. Um, and this this piece really um, shared, um, you know, so many um, of those wonderful elements. I really think that um, for me, um, I'm always amazed that at uh, artists' ability to conceptualize um, visions like this. Um, they're they're so creative and they're unseen. And for for my partner and I's collection, that's one of the core tenets. Um, in all of our pieces. And I'd say that would be the common, den common denominator is um, untold stories, um, yeah. you know, uh, nuanced approaches uh, as it relates to um, the, the Black community. So I really, really loved this one. Um, so to start off with, I had to, I had to, to share this one. You know, just to say, to say a little something about him is that you know that you, when you mentioned he's crossed through, connected to fashion, he did two of the Vogue Arabia uh, yes. you know, main pages where he did amazing yes. yeah, photos. Beautiful. For that. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. And you know, I I, I also love the, the 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 historical references. I immediately got those 17th, 18th century um, portraits, uh, but obviously with the new modern twist. So I am a huge fan. I immediately started following him. I want all of his work um, because it just makes me feel good. But also there is like this sense of ownership and freedom um, with creativity um, that is just so prominent, um, not only in this piece, but his work. Um, so I, I, I was a huge fan. I loved it, loved it. So your second. So the second one is um, from Joanna Chomali, also um, from uh, the Loft Art Gallery. Um, I just loved this. It just brought this calming sense over me. And um, I, I, I initially saw Joanna um, through Instagram a few months back. And I remember stopping everything I did. I saved the work and then I sent it to my uh, partner and was like, you have to see this because um, uh, we both love nature um, and the environment and, you know, in her work, I have seen this attention to detail and this prioritization of, 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 of you know, landscapes and, and nature around her figures. Um, in addition to uh, the technique that is so unique, um, I uh, just thought this was just a, a standout uh, and really, really beautiful. It also reminded me of a conversation that I had with my mother recently um, uh, you know, uh, I was telling her about the collection and telling her about, um, you know, my vision and how we have, you know, really, um, started to diversify, um, uh, the collection. 
when I initially started it, it was very much uh, a reflection of my personal journey as a gay black man in this world. Um, so there were lots of male figures. Um, but what I realized was that there were so many external factors and so many other figures along my journey that also helped bring, I guess, raise me and, um, you know, uh, complete my journey. And Black women are one of them, um, if not the most, uh, you know, influential. I was raised by, you know, uh, strong, beautiful, smart um, uh, uh, Black women. And I remember asking my mom, I was like, how did you do everything with children and my dad and your job and your social life and church? Like, when did you like sleep? And she's like, well, I just did it. Um, there was there was no option. Um, but she was like, you know, at the older you get, you have to prioritize rest. Um, so when I saw this, it just reminded me of that conversation. Um, and again, I'm just, I'm such a fan of her work and I, I cannot wait to see more because it's just, it's just so remarkable. I mean, look at this like, technique and the detail. It's, uh, it, it's, so it's know, incredible. Met, met, so, um, yeah, I've met Joanna, you know, when she was doing the Biennale of Venice, representing her country like a few years back. And she had just started, you know, that technique of embroidery on photos um, uh, that she did. And to be honest, her way, her work has excelled, you know, from year to year. And, you know, that she was the winner of the Prix Picté uh, last yeah. year. Um, and it all started, she was telling me how, you know, it was a real therapy for her because it started mm -hmm. when she lost her dad, there was those terrorist attacks in, you know, Côte d'Ivoire, and th the fact of, you know, embroidering, um, you know, all those pictures give her a real sense of, of therapy, you know, in a way. So, I mean, she's a very strong woman, but it's nice to see how, you know, when faced with obstacles, you know, they, she, she was able to deal with it. So it's, uh, she has beautiful wow. work. I, I cannot wait to see more um, from her because um, it, it's really remarkable and, and so unique. So again, back to those untold stories. Yes. This is this is. But you know, uh, she has beautiful work as well in the the knotted ties exhibition at Christie's. So you can see her work. I think one of her pieces there physically. So you, I'm, I don't know if it's that particular one, but it's part of the part of the series. And it's part of our textile, you know, mm -hmm. um, exhibition at Christie's. Yes. So if you have mm -hmm. time, go visit. It will be nice to see your work in real. It's on my list of things to do. I can't wait. Great. Well, let's move on to the third one. Another uh, recent favorite. Also um, saw him on Instagram recently. Um, to Lego Tabala, um, uh, which is uh, brought to us by uh, Ebony Curated. I just love this so much. Um, I, you know, uh, am always looking for, again, the untold stories, but, you know, new perspectives. And this one's a really interesting one for me because um, I think it's important to see other aspirational um, uh, uh, fig uh, figures and and and, and visuals, uh, particularly in the uh, the black community. I think we're used to seeing the money, we're used to seeing the clothes, we're used to the way that he did this. I just find is so elevated, um, and so um, and 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 so uh, well designed. Um, the attention to detail, the furniture, the art the view um just giving us something else to to look up to and to aspire to um it, it brings me back to kind of my childhood because through film and television um that was kind of my way of seeing what could be um as a black man and what lifestyle i could have as a as a black person in this world so shows like fresh prince of bel-air the scene from um the emerald city uh uh from uh quincy jones's the Wiz. Uh, the Jeffersons. Uh, I remember sitting up watching that when I was a kid, but this is done um, in a modern approach and through art. So I loved it. I thought it was fascinating. It, it it allows us to kind of think about, you know what, I can, you know, have a obscure piece of real estate that has a gorgeous view. I can own classic pieces of art. I can have high end, you know, well furnished home and, 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 and you know, sit with my family. Uh, and, and admire that. So um, I really appreciate these kinds of um, approaches uh, as we 
as a as a as a as a community um, look to something something better. So I I just I just thought this was super super clever and, and well done. Yeah, one of my favorite too. <laughs> well, good choice. <laughs> <laughs> well thank you thank you i just love it i mean i could just scroll up and down and i want to be in that room um i feel it when i see it uh, it's just it's just so chic and so lovely so um that was my third and the fourth uh is kari turner um uh from uh, the ross sutton gallery um so I actually um, already own Akari Turner, so I uh, am a little bit biased, but um, I'll tell a, a bit of a personal story um, because I don't mind to share. I think it's important to, to share these um, kinds of narratives. When I was growing up, I had a lot of uh, challenges with my features. Um, I didn't really see um, Black beauty uh, represented, I think, as evenly as I did um, in, in mainstream with, with, with let's say, with white people. So I, I hated my nose. I thought it was too big. I thought my lips were too big. I hated the gap in my teeth. Um, and it's taken a long, long time to, to get over those. So, I mean, I'm in a place now where I look in the mirror and I'm like, you look good. Like, you know, <laughs> this, you look great. But it, it took a long time. And, um, you know, Kari's work, I think, um, really accentuates and emphasizes and celebrates those particular um, features so well and with love. And um, I, I love the movement. I love the textures. There's always a lot going on, right? But it always perfectly frames the mouth, the, the teeth, the, 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 the nose. Um, so um, this one, you know, grace of my style, beautiful, <laughs> does it perfectly. Um, I love his work too, because that scale uh, and when you see it in person, you're just like, whoa, like this is this is amazing. So I think, you know, as it as it relates to the black body and, and our features and celebrating those um, and the beauty of those, um, I'm just so impressed uh, with with him. He's such a talent. Um, and uh, just to say a, a quick word on on destiny as well. Um, you know, I also extremely talented, wonderful eye. I love um, what she's doing, um, particularly um, in, in Soho and her, her, her gallery, um, she's, she's able to really bring new fresh faces to, um, to the art industry um, and to really change the narrative um, while also, you know, protecting um, Black art and Black artists. So I look forward to seeing more of her um, as she progresses. I know she has a really, really bright future ahead of her. It's the first time, you know, have the chance to have her at the fair, but to be honest, we're very excited to have her on board. And uh, I mean, you're right, she has an amazing eye and I hope she'll bring something really new to this scene uh, and landscape in, uh, in New York. But I can't wait to visit the gallery as soon as I'm there. Yes, it's, it's, it's wonderful. Um, and last but not least, um, Isaiah Pelodi um, uh, from Luca uh, Gallery. Uh, Zaya is also one of the artists that I, I, I've owned um, and I have been impressed with, with his um, progression um, over the past couple of years. Um, more so than, than any artist, I, I feel that he's able to tell a Black narrative that's true to him um, and, and his um, own narrative, as well as really translating that globally. Um, and you know, there's always elements of you know. I love the colors that he always uses. I love you know, the the natural elements uh, of nature that he brings in, as well as um, all of these other contextual props, almost as if um, like for this one as well. And he 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 really is. Um, uh, it's always done in such a simplistic way. It's so relatable. Um, and when you meet him in person, you completely make that connection as well because he is so humble and so gracious and um relatable um so i uh am a huge fan of his work can't wait to see more of him uh i actually didn't know that he was be a part of, of this particular fair so it, it's funny our paths keep crossing um in the best possible ways um and you so have I a always, beautiful always one behind you know. and you have a beautiful one behind yes, you and he's he's right here behind me um, like I said, I just, uh, I can't get enough uh, of him and 
I, I, I always tell other collectors, like, you know, if you have the opportunity to um, reach out to um, the artists that you've collected from um, and, you know, stay connected to them um, as they progress, um, it's just, it makes the art so much more um, tangible and um, uh, important. So, uh, you know, that is, uh, I would say, uh, proof uh, and, you know, power of relationships. So, um, so happy to see him here and happy to see the work that he's doing. Love this piece. Um, wish I could get another one, um, but uh, I'm happy for, for all of his success. Well, thank you so much for sharing, uh, Phil. I mean, you have great taste, <laughs> I have to tell you. I want the five uh, you of do. the highlights you've chosen. They're amazing. And uh, I mean, thank you. Thank you for supporting, for being part of this uh, collector speak. It's really nice of you to take the time. And we'll have a chance, I hope, to meet in real life very soon in New York. Absolutely. I look forward to it. And thank you again for having me. It was a pleasure. It was a very, very hard uh, task to choose five. I had about 20 and, and it took me like a day or two to, to get through all of them. Um, but uh, best of luck to you um, and your team, as well as the galleries and of course the artists. So um, I look forward to um, hearing more success stories and seeing you guys um, um, throughout more shows this year. Well, thank you so much. Bye, take care.